So, um, hi, welcome to the Simulation Centre at um, uh, University of West London, Harrogan House. Uh, my name's Luke, um, I'm one of the uh, nurses working as a lecturer here. Um, I was going to talk you through um, how to uh, assess one of our mannequins. So if I introduce you to uh, Ares, um, Ares is one of our high fidelity mannequins. Um, he breathes, he talks, uh, he can replicate a lot of physical conditions. Um, Ares, how are you today? Uh, uh, not, not great, but <coughs> a bit chesty. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Did you not have a good night's sleep? No, not really. I kept coughing. I'm sorry about that. Um, if it's all right, I've got some people with me and I was going to show them how we sort of go about assessing you. Is that okay? Oh, yeah, sure. So I'm just going to sort of talk to them and to you. Is that all right? Let me just wash yeah. my hands and get, get a gown on and then I can come and give you a proper look over, okay? Okay. Right. Um, so we can teach our students quite a lot by, um, by using our mannequins. We can... Uh, we can show them about um, principles of infection control. Uh, we can talk to them about um, communication. Uh, and we can also uh, use the mannequins to actually assess physical conditions. So they have um, a really wide variety of uses. I struggle to get my... But one of the things we like to do is to um, have our adult nursing students at least uh, know how to do a... ABCD assessment so that they can see whether one of their patients is, uh, is becoming unwell. And this is something we, uh, we teach them right from an early stage in their training. So I'm going to do that with um, Aries. I'll talk you through what I'm doing. So um, actually, we kind of know something about him already because he's told us that um, he's got a bit of a chesty cough, he didn't sleep very well, he's feeling a bit rubbish. Um, but we know he's talking to us, so we know his airway is clear. We know there's nothing kind of blocking it. We can also listen to the airway and kind of uh, listen if there's any sounds in there. And these mannequins are great because their airway could become obstructed. If there was something in there, we'd be able to see it. You said your breathing's a bit, uh, a bit off, isn't it? I, I might just sit you up a bit if yeah. that's okay. Just, 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 okay. just going to sit you up there, so then it might make your breathing feel a little bit better. It's visiting out. Oh, that's better, yeah. Okay. Does that feel a bit better? Yeah. yeah okay. it does, I'm just going to spend a, um, just a short time uh, having a look at your breathing. Is that alright? I'm going to count how yeah. fast you're breathing. Is that okay? Okay. So our students learn how to do physical observations. They learn how to um, check a blood pressure. They learn how to count a respiratory rate. These are really important skills that, um, I mean, unless you get a chance to practice them, they're really difficult to do. So um, we let our students loose on the napkins and uh, see what they can get on with. With these napkins, if um, we wanted to simulate something like one side of the chest had collapsed, we could do that. At the moment, actually, if you uh, look at the way um, Aries is breathing, there's equal entry on both sides. It's, um, it's going up nice and equally. It's not breathing too fast. I'm just going to check your oxygen saturation level as well. Do you remember yesterday I put that probe on your finger? I'm just going oh, to yeah. do that. Yeah. Okay. So let's put this on and, um, and see what the saturation level is. Actually, it says you, you are struggling a little bit with your breathing. It says your oxygen saturation level is 91. So one of the things we would like, um, like our students to get in the idea of is that actually if you assess somebody and you find an observation that is um, not what you'd expect, that um, we can do something about it, evaluate. So um, uh, Aries' is ox oxygen level is 91 and that's lower than it should be. We know there's a target range of 94 to the 98 for most people. Um, I, I remember you don't have any problems with your breathing in the past, do you? Uh, no, it's the first time. Yeah, I remember you saying you've never smoked in your life as well. No. Yeah. So I could probably give you a bit of oxygen by uh, probably I'll put, put a little face mask on you and just see how that works out. Would that be okay? Oh, okay, that's great. I'll 
tell you what, Harry, let's, um, let's, let's try with uh, those little prongs that go up your nose, okay? All right, all right. so I'll just pop them. Sorry, that's weird. Yeah, it is a bit odd, isn't it? And actually, you're not quite like real people. You have slightly odd nose holes. Are we going to pop that on just like that? Hopefully that'll help with your breathing just a little bit, okay? Okay, great. Let's get that. So I can give Aries oxygen that's going to hopefully correct that low saturation level and we can go back and check on how that's going. Let's carry on doing my assessment. Um, so we've looked at his airway, we know that's okay. Um, his, uh, his breathing well, the respiratory rate is okay, um, but his, um, his oxygen saturation level is low, so we've done something about that. Um, let's have a look at his circulation. So, you can actually check, uh, I'm just going to leave your table out there. I'm just going to put it over here for a minute, okay? Um, we can check the pulses of uh, our... Uh, our simulated patients. They normally have a really good pulse we can feel. Um, that feels nice and regular. But obviously there are some limitations with our mannequins. So um, once a, when somebody is assessing a, a real patient, They'll be able to feel whether they're warm, and they'll be able to get some sense of how they look. Uh, so we're trying to, um, to get students really to, to use their analytical skills when they're picking up what the numbers are telling them. Um, often our intuition is wrong, so sometimes it's good to do a thorough assessment and um, you know, choose an action accordingly. But a student assessing Aries could ask me, is his skin warm? Does he look blue? And I could give her those clues as well. The pulse feels are right there, and um, yeah, you feel pretty warm. Um, I'm just going to check your capillary refill time, if that's all right. So I'm going to squeeze on your finger. OK, and that looks all right as well. So put that back on your finger. I'm going to come around that side and check your blood pressure as well. Of course, we can practice these skills in a number of ways. We have part-task trainers where you might simply have an arm on which you can practice doing a blood pressure over and over again. But actually, learning how to put it all together to, um, to communicate with your patients uh, and to think about some of the other things that go on in clinical situations, things that might make you stressed or forget to do something well. Um, these are really important skills to learn. We can only really do that this environment through using simulation. Harry, I'm just going to pop this on your arm here, okay? And that cuff's just, just going to inflate. Let me just check that oxygen. Oh, there you go, that's a bit better. And let's see what your blood pressure is. Uh, so your blood pressure's looking okay today. It's 116 over 77, so that's not too bad. It's about what it was yesterday, I think. I feel warm. Okay. I just wonder what's, what's wrong if everything's it's all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, I didn't listen to your chest, did I? Maybe I should have a listen to your chest and maybe we can hear if there's anything going on in there. Um, our students to listen to chests. Aries has got a fantastic system whereby he's got a special stethoscope that can pick out particular breath sounds. So we can program in things like um, uh, crackles, we can program um, it to sound like he has um, a chest infection or a pneumothorax. Um, 
it's really powerful, particularly for our postgraduate students. So people come and study at the university, um, go off and become um, registered nurses, midwives, but then come back to do the postgraduate courses. So we have a, a big program where people can uh, really develop their advanced skills.